Take a few deep breaths. And bring the hands into stillness. Bringing your spine into alignment. And allow your hands to face forward. Inviting all the yoga energy of everyone's practice to be a collective energy today. Let it be part of your practice. And slowly drawing the palms back together, this time at the heart, pressing the knuckles of the thumbs in and up to lift the heart. Gazing at the third eye center, our inner teacher, greatest teacher of all. And with the mantra, Om Namo Gurudev Namo, we tune in or awaken that wisdom that exists within and everywhere, infinite wisdom. Let's inhale together, filling up. And exhale all the way out. Deep inhale. Complete exhale. And inhale for the Adi Mantra. Ideally, we're chanting that mantra on one breath. It might sound like we're doing two breaths because we're pausing after the first namo, but it's just a little half breath, a little, you're just taking in a little bit more so that you can sustain the Guru Dev namo. Still considered one breath. Let's bring the hands to the knees, lengthening through the crown, chin tucks ever so slightly, Jalandara Bandha. And begin your long deep breathing in and out through the nose. On your inhales, let the belly fill first, then the ribs, then the chest like you're filling a glass of water. And on your exhales, 
You release from top to bottom, chest, ribs, belly. You're welcome to contract the throat slightly, creating the ujjayi sound. A subtle ocean sound. And as you listen to your breath, Listen for the mantra of Sat Nam. On your inhales, maybe hearing Sat. And on your exhales, hearing Nam, truth I am. Keep this breath and start to circle your belly and torso around at the speed of your breath. So let your breath be what's leading you. Your movement is following this breath. Smoothly reverse the direction. On an inhale, pull the spine nice and tall at center. Hold the breath, lift the pelvic floor, more bend. Imagining light in the spine. Exhale, let it go. Walk your hands forward, coming into downward, sorry, I mean tabletop. That's what I'm looking for, coming into tabletop. Hands underneath the shoulders, knees underneath the hips, feet relaxed. Inhaling into sway back to cow. Exhaling into rounded cat. Again, your breath tells you when to switch.
Now keep it going, but speed it up a little bit. Let your breath and your movement speed up. Good, and speed it up a little bit more. Inhale into cow. Exhale, relax in child's pose. Inhale to lift the gaze. Exhale back into tabletop. This time tuck your toes. Inhale as you lean back into the feet. Exhale with wide fingers, press into the hands, lifting the hips up for triangle pose, also known as downward dog. Let your shoulders relax away from the ears. And tuck the chin, gazing towards the legs, or maybe even the navel point someday. Stay here, one or two more breaths. And one step at a time, walk the feet up to meet the hands. Forward fold, hanging like a rag doll. One vertebrae at a time, roll it up. Good, when you get to the top, just glide those shoulders down the back. Wow. Inhale the arms up. Exhale to one side, crescent moon. Inhale to center. Exhale, other side. Good, now speed it up a little bit. Inhale up, reach up so high, a little back bend happens. Exhale, hinge at the hips as you fold forward and down. Inhale, reach it up so high, a little back bend happens. Set. Exhale, hinging, folding, nom. Find your own pace, your own rhythm.
Inhale, reach it up. Exhale, let it go. Last piece before we come into a spinal adjustment. Bring the hands to the hips. Shoulders glide down the back. Glide one foot forward, keeping the leg straight as you chant HUD, H-A-R, drawing the navel back on HUD. Release, other foot, try to keep the leg straight, HUD. Good, HUD, 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 HUD. Hud means creative infinity. Hud, 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 One spot to gaze on the level of the horizon. And instead of gazing from the fronts of your eyeballs forward, imagine that you're, you have an awareness behind you as well and you're gazing through the lens of your eyes. The awareness around your body. And come into your slow, long, deep breathing. Spreading through the toes. Lean onto your left leg, bending the right knee out to the side in tree. Your right foot can be on the ankle, calf or above the knee, but never on the knee. Interlace all of your fingers, except for the pointers, which stick straight up over the crown of the head. As you inhale, imagine energy and light rising up the spine through the crown. And as you exhale, keep this length, keep yourself tall as energy and light falls back down. Inhale deeply, get even taller, squeeze the energy out. Inhale even more. Exhale with control and balance. Release, let it go.
Starting at the bottom, leaning onto your right foot, toes are spreading. Bend your left knee out to the side, bringing it to the ankle, calf, or above the knee. Keeping your gaze point, interlace all of the fingers except for the pointers, lifting them over the crown. Light rising on the inhale and releasing back down on the exhale. You are strengthening all of the muscles that support the spine. Inhale, get even taller, hold the breath. Squeeze the energy upwards. Inhale, even more. Exhale, keep your balance as you release. Step the feet about one and a half, maybe two feet apart. Feet are parallel. Inhale, reach the arms out and up. Interlace the fingers, let them rest on the crown of the head. Inhale with me here with straight legs. Exhale as you bend the knees sitting down into crow squat. So my knees are bending forward and my sitting bones are behind me. Good, inhale. Exhale. And you get to decide how low you squat. Listen for that mantra of Satnam. Good. Your pace might change over time. Inhale, standing. Exhale, 
Exhale, let it go. Inch the feet just a tiny bit wider. Just a smidge, an inch or two. And then bring your hands to your knees and let your sitting bones stick out behind you. There are a few different ways to do this buttocks bounce posture. So one way is here, and you're going to bounce the buttocks by letting the knees bend. 11 times. You inhale as they rise, exhale as they bounce down. When you've reached 11, inhale, reach up. Exhale, bring it back in. If you'd like to go a little bit deeper, your fingertips can touch the floor in front of you. Or if you'd like to come into the full expression, your arms come between the legs and they wrap around the back of the calves and then the hands touch the feet. Now, whichever variation you're choosing, gaze forward. Let's go. Eleven breaths. Gazing forward, you're lengthening your spine. Good, everyone. Last two rounds. When you finish, come down to seated. For one minute, just close the eyes and allow everything that we've done to circulate, creating any energetic shifts or changes that might need to happen. Just relax and watch your energy.
deepening your breath. And coming back to standing. Turning sideways on your mat so that your feet can open wide about three feet apart with the toes jutting out more than the heels. Notice your spine nice and tall. And open your arms out into a T. Shoulders gliding down the back. Your spine is lengthening from tailbone to crown the whole time as you tilt to one side. Bringing one hand down to the shin, ankle, or foot. Take a full breath here. On your next inhale, rise it back up to center. Tilting to the other side. The goal is to spend 10 seconds on each side. So if you take a five second inhale and a five second exhale, that's 10 seconds. Good, keep a little bit of pressure in the feet so you can feel that spine lengthening. Not too much effort, but enough that you can sense it. Last breath. When you inhale up to center, hold the breath, lifting the pelvic floor, mold on. Exhale, let it go. Come right down onto your back for Shavasana. Letting the legs release out long. Letting the shoulders tuck down a little bit. Arms resting about a foot away from the sides, palms facing up. 
And allow your spine to naturally lengthen here as you relax. Notice how the earth is curving away from you in every direction. Gravity holding you. Our home is a ball. And we're floating and moving, spinning through space together. Every tree, every desert, ocean is a part of you. And you a part of it.
and gently allow your breath to deepen. Wiggling fingers and toes. Rolling, circling the wrists and ankles. And stretching the arms up over the head. Hugging one knee in and taking it across the body into a twist, cat stretch. And switching legs. When you're ready, draw both knees into the chest, letting the knees open wide. You can even take a little happy baby here for a moment if you like. And then rub the bottoms of the feet against each other and the palms of the hands against each other, sealing off these prana exits in the hands and feet. And release the feet, let the hands rest anywhere on the body that they feel drawn to. Allow that healing energy of your own hands to move through the body. When you're ready, you can release and come rocking up to seated. Just as we began with Om Namo, Guru Dev Namo, let's do a few rounds of this Adi Mantra together. You're always welcome to just listen if you prefer.
Dedicating the longtime sun to your own inner teacher. This part of thyself that leads you to certain people, to certain life lessons, who has led you to this moment. We didn't have each other. All the lessons that we learn, all the agitation moments, moments of forgiveness, and all those moments of laughter, love, joy, even peace. Remembering that we're all connected, we say together, Satnam. Satnam. Thank you for practicing with me today. Thank you, Liza. You're so beautiful. Welcome.